Hey, how you doing? Well, if you've seen the thumbnail, I'm talking about how Invincible Season 2 last episode got a sniper out of the Fortnite universe. Die right now! <laughs> well, it's not exactly that simple because yes, he did go through a portal for, uh, for Dimension, speaking with Batman, Spider-Man, getting a sniper in the Fortnite universe and coming out. But it's not exactly easy to be explaining that. First, I need to talk about how the Fortnite universe actually works and how it goes beyond the multiverse that it actually is in and goes to the Omniverse. Actually, I don't need to dive about that. That's like super known knowledge, which is better for you to see some of the storyline, which you can find in the Bad Bang comics. Uh, really explains it very well, especially really good comics too. But when you get into the Fortnite universe, you will be trapped into the map. And you will be in a constant loop, which when you die, your memory resets, many other things reset, and you don't remember anything else. Although some of your characteristics that make you, you, stays within you. <laughs> okay. But the only way to escape that, it's not actually the only way. There are other ways which are mostly unknown, but the most casual way is to get a victory royale. And you will be escaping the loop, but you won't necessarily escape the island, which is a really critical uh, point when I'm going to be explaining to you how my theory works. Well, there are two main plot holes in this theory that it's not really easy to explain because the time that the Dragon Birth Sniper was in the game was Chapter 4, Season 4, with Kato 4 and having a time machine and yeah. So it brought back an augment, which would give you a Dragon Bird Sniper and something else I don't remember. You can see it on screen. <laughs> well, the time that had happened matches the time that Invincible Universe is going on. The problem is, Invincible comes to the item shop at Fortnite OG, which maybe Epic Games is not, Epic Games or Invincible team, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe they're not thinking that deep, but I'm just getting it into the point and into the story. So if that happens, it can be explained because when you want to get a skin into the item shop, you need to create a snapshot in the Fortnite world. And the snapshot will appear once you get out of the loop or some version of you. Not exactly uh, easy to explain, but if you see the comics that I show up right here, you can easily understand what I'm talking about. So. When he gets out of the loop, he most likely interacted with some of the Fortnite characters that we know and love, but I cannot exactly be sure of that because there's not any detail. It's like me saying that in a thousand years, uh, humans will have robots attached to their eyes and everywhere else. So I'm not going into that. When he gets out of the loop, uh, a snapshot will be created, and that snapshot might have took a long time to be recognized by uh, the Fortnite team <laughs> coming into the item shop. So after that, he gets a portal, opens up in front of him, going out of it, and when he comes out of it, he will see the villain and beating every sickle soul out of him. So that's mostly the theory. I can go a little bit deeper and a little bit outer to make it simple and to make it more advanced, but I just uh, don't know if they think that deeply about these stuff. So that's probably it. Have a nice time. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>